This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing around with Spiritomb. This is probably one of the last battle videos of the year so let's make it a celebration with a one prize attacker in the form of Spiritomb's building spite can put damage counters onto itself with its ability and Anguish Cry can dish out more damage depending on how much damage we have onto ourselves. Not only that, if you can just get enough damage counters on yourself you can uh, rely on Hustle Bell to dish out 60 extra damage. And of course the rainbow energy also provides a damage counter and also uh, gives us the required darkness type energy that we need so uh the, yeah, today we're gonna just pair it with adp adp and spirit tube we're gonna try and get altered creation jacks off as early as possible as usual but this time around we're gonna be playing a heavy guzman hell account this will make sure that we can get our stadium card uh, shrine of punishment it doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna just punish ourselves but uh, this is our only tactic that we're gonna try and get out as early as possible and then afterwards the shrine will take in damage on things like the Danny mewtwo etc and the damage counters will actually uh, help out a lot because Believe it or not, Spirit Tomb with a Hustle Bell can maximum uh, dish out 160 damage. With uh, the Altered Creation into uh, account, we dish out 190. And a couple of uh, Shrine damage here and there can definitely help us out to get, of course, those one-hit KOs eventually. We also have a uh, Copycat in here. Sometimes we can copy uh, the opponent's attacks. This is very helpful in the mirror match, but also can get uh, uh, po the opponent by surprise because we can get it off in one att attachment with uh, a Rainbow Energy and Counter Gain if we're behind in prize cards. And due to the fact that we're running a high count of Goose Manhala. Getting the tool cards out is very easy. We have counter gain if we're behind. We have a skateboard for our Jirachi engine and we even have giant bomb that can just explode on the opponent if uh, they attack with a damage output of 180 or more. Typically that could be like uh, an uh, ultimate ray. Uh, if they already used altered, uh, yeah, altered creation, uh, if the opponent is also playing ADP and they use ultimate ray that will be 180. That means the bomb explodes. Very nice and helpful and uh, Hustle Belt is uh, mainly used for Spirit Tube. For tech cards, we have Absol to slow the opponent down if they are running a Jirachi engine and we also have Substrika for any type of control variants, for instance, uh, Pijoto control. Uh, the Jinx in, is in here just to uh, move around those damage counters. Let's say we get two Spirit Tombs up. Uh, we use Building Spite twice uh, on uh, both of them. So that means they have uh, one damage counter each. Well, with the Jinx, we can move around that damage counter from the one Spirit Tomb to the other one. And then with the Rainbow Energy out of nowhere, he can immediately start smacking around with Hustle Belt. And of course, Spirit Tomb will be dishing out a lot of damage. So this is the list that we're going to try out. So uh, instead of Chaotic Swell and Ka Keldeo, this time around, it's going to be Shrine of Punishment, Hustle Belt, and uh, the Spirit Tomb as our secondary attacker. We'll We'll see how it goes. The other cards are still in here like Cynthia and Catelyn and of course Mallow and Lana but in a lower count because uh, our main attacker after we used all their creation jacks will be Spirit too. So uh, this is the video for today. Hopefully it'll work out okay. Uh, we've seen it before that it works out uh, on the uh, eastern part of the world so we'll see if that hey the versus ladder is reset that means you can find yourself uh your victories if you have a lot of victories on the versus ladder you can get yourself alternate charisma jacks which has been used a lot in melamar list so this time around adp uh, spirit Tomb, as you've seen from uh, all the decks we've played so far adp seems to be pairing a, a very well with a lot of decks we've seen it before with of course caldeon calyx well we've seen it work in the greens list with the uh, birch trio zapdos articuno moltres and this time around it's time to pair it with a one prize attacker in the form of spirit Spirit Tomb. Okay, we found an opponent. We'll see how that turns out for us. Okay, it's probably gonna be Ability Zart. Uh, the thing I can say about Ability Zart is that Absol can help out a lot if they don't run into their switch cards because they heavily rely on Jirachi to find their welders. Also, uh, Spirit Tomb can smack uh, Heatrans all day long and uh, all the other one prize attackers that he tries to uh, throw at us. Okay, we start off with Spirit Tomb I immediately. Hmm, if we can get, of course. I'm going to start with one Spirit Tomb in the active position. Seems to be fine. I'm also going to smack down the Absol while we're at it. Do we smack this down? Probably. So we can get a heavy Lily going around. So this is going to say like, Ooh, what kind of a ver version of a deck is this? I actually want to be giving attachment of the turn immediately to like ADP if we can uh, find it. But uh, I'll see if it works out. First things first, it is Ability Zart, Welder onto a Turtonator. Can we smack 110 damage on the first turn? If we find the Jinx, we can already smack 100 damage. So we need Hustle Belt and we need Jinx to make it work. If we find them, Hustle Belt and Jinx, it is possible. We'll see. 
Okay, we have a custom catcher, not good at all. I'm gonna go for Lily for four. We can attach on the turn, but maybe we want to attach uh, on ADP. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we find a switch, a tackle. That's actually not bad. This tackle will provide us with ADP and as well as the Guzman Hall to find our other combo pieces. So this is actually not bad at all. I'm gonna be getting this on board. He uh, does not seem to have like a lot going on, only Victini in the back. So let's get this up and rolling. Get a metal energy onto there. This guy needs to like uh, discard two energies, so we're not gonna put be putting damage on that spirit tomb. And I'm gonna let him discard two energies. So we're gonna building spite on this guy, and uh, don't want to reset time just yet. I think I'm gonna sacrifice my spirit tomb and let him discard two fire energies from his turnator. Afterwards, we're gonna be using the altered creation GX, and uh, we should be having an advantage from there on out. Okay, giant heart will get him uh, fire energies from the deck straightly. That's cool. That can also help us out if we have another Lily so we can tin out our hand. We have Reset Stamp, another Welder, the second Welder up and rolling on the Turtonator. Not really, it's on the Victini. This is uh, very peculiar. He could, of course, swing out of nowhere with Heatran. Okay, Explosive Jet. This is awesome. That means he has to discard two Fire Energy. Okay, he does not discard a lot of it, only one energy. <laughs> yeah, we did not put damage onto ourselves, so that is fantastic. He uh, fell right in our trap. And then this scenario, yeah, he already can see. Oh, what is this? People are mad, but I, I was too clever here, not putting damage onto our own spirit tomb, making sure that he had to discard two fire energies, and we would have gone uh, for it from there on out. The good news is that uh, if he would have KO'd the spirit tomb uh, with two energies, there were only going to be like three energies left, and he needed another Weller to get the one head KO on ADP, which is very unlikely. But yeah, it could happen. Okay. Let's try this again, so uh, the deck still works, it's ADP, doing ADP stuff, uh, of course getting Ultra Creation off as early as possible, but if you can get a lot of Spirit Tomb on your board early on, you can have the Building Spite be very crucial in the late game. Also smacking down a Shrine is also a very very nice early game, because we have 3 Shrines, if it stakes on the board for 1 turn it's already huge, so... I'm also like doubting to like put a, a Mew in here to just put some extra damage counters where the, they need to be, but... I couldn't find the room for it right now, we only have like a 1-1 one, one line of Zubstrike, also Kraigen or something I love so much, like uh, having the uh, ability of catching the attack to item lock the opponent is just so strong, also against doll based uh, decks, of course we have uh, Florgus with the dolls, Lily's Poké Doll, we're finding another opponent, and hopefully that will be very similar, like a, uh, yeah, an archetype that we know, uh, it is going to be Mewtwo, I think, could also be something else. Let's see here. Okay, we won the coin flip. That's always nice to start off with ADP. That gives us the comfort of just attaching and passing. Lily, Spirit Tomb. Uh, Spirit Tomb is also. I don't want to attach immediately onto the Spirit Tomb, but we definitely need to find like Tackle, ADP, something like that so we can attach on that first. You can also go full Spirit Tomb without getting ADP up and rolling, but that's a little bit more difficult. Okay, this is a weird scenario. I'm gonna get an energy, actually the uh, skateboard there. I'm gonna Lily for one, two, three, four, five. Lily for three? Is that the best play? Or do we attach on the spirit tomb? I think Lily for three. Maybe we draw into a tackle. Hustle buff. Oh, this is definitely not good at all. We have to get a smack down this uh, Jinx here because otherwise things will not go okay. We definitely need another spirit tomb so we can uh, get ourselves rolling here because this is not looking good. Hmm. Oh well, energy on the spirit tomb. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to call it a day. That's gonna be a pass. Uh, couldn't he destroy this on the first turn, I wonder. Maybe we should use the uh, damage counter so we can uh, save our spirit tomb. We can put him back later. Hmm, five, yeah, we can smack 160 easily. We'll see, uh, what, we'll see what he does. We'll see what he does. Maybe putting it safe, I'm using the Jinx. Yeah, this means if we uh, get another rainbow on here and use building spite and get another spirit too, we are gonna get this one hit KO. We'll see if it uh, turns out that way. Okay, this is gonna be Mewtwo. Getting rid of a lot of resources. Hopefully he does not find a welder or a switch. Otherwise, we are gonna get screwed over here. We only have Guzman Hall to work with and that only gets us a stadium card, a tool card and a special energy. So nothing that we are looking for at this point. Acrobike, very shiny version of Mewtwo even getting the Mars Shadow. Okay, he has the Welder, that is a bad news for us. Does he have Solgaleo in the discard pile? He can already start using Macargo, which is already a bad... 
Yeah, this is not looking good for us. I think if he can get this the Danny out of the active position, we will be screwed over. Maybe he smacks down Giant Heart or Raven Forest or has... Yeah, yeah, here we go with the Giant Heart. Golden Giant Heart. Gets rid of Mew Mew. Has the energy to retreat. And uh, if we don't draw something soon, we will definitely be... Okay, he just gets it to the Mew Mew. Okay, that's cool. That is cool, but we don't have anything to work with. So, what I'm going to do is going to use uh, Search for a Stadium card and all that. So, we are going to discard... Hmm, yeah, Metal Energy and might as well get rid of this while, we're, while we can, yeah. What can we grab? We can get a, a Stadium card, that's Shrine, a Counter game, can always be nice. Or we can go with a Giant Bomb, but he is definitely not gonna uh, fall in the trap of that. Huh, too bad. Special Energy, yeah, we don't have Pokemon, this is very crazy. All these Pokemon, all these tackles and nothing to work with, so I think we're gonna go with a third game here because this is going nowhere. So, Shrine first, I'm gonna put some damage onto herself, building Spite, we can get a Rainbow Energy to put even more pressure onto this guy, hmm, 30, flip a coin, 30 damage, paralyzed, maybe that can save us, that's, we don't have a lot of things to work with, so we're just gonna put an energy over here, he can go for the Mew Mew and the Deoxys combo, but... Espeon and Deoxys, probably gonna be the trick here, he has like 3 damage counters here, would have, we would have been knocked out either way, so it doesn't matter too much. So, yeah, I think that's it. We can uh, put the damage counter onto the spirit tube. Put more damage out. Now we're dishing out 100 damage. The shrine can actually take in some lot of damage, so maybe I'm actually going to use this and put the damage counter from here onto the spirit tube so we can actually smack for more damage. Bam! Okay, 130. That is uh, very nice. We try and it's 140. So this is still not over, even though it looks very grim. If we top back something nice, uh, we still have this... Uh, okay, he immediately overlaps our uh, Shrine of Punishment with his uh, Heat Factory. And that is going to be the end of the game, probably. Unless he doesn't find a Switch card. The only thing he has to do is go for uh, the Espeon Deoxys. It's in the discard pile. Will he find the psychic energy necessary to, of course, use cross division for game? We'll see. He switches. Does he have the psychic energy? If he has, he has already won. Okay, lava flow. Very peculiar. Seeing that we hit for weakness with Jinx, so we can at least go with the counter gain and do something very crazy. So, what to do now? We have Pokemon communication. Wow, that helps. So, in this scenario, the best plan of action is getting ourselves Jirachi. Or ADP. I think ADP is probably better in this scenario since uh, we are gonna be using ADP's alter creation, I guess. That means we only need to knock out this Mew Mew afterwards and we don't find like a stadium card to overlap Heat Factory, which is sad. Counter game coming over here and I think I'm gonna go for a good on a track smack. Hopefully the paralyzation sticks. Uh, it doesn't. We are sad. We are sad. We're gonna get wrecked in this scenario. Our uh, Jinx will get knocked out. At least we have the option to use Altered Creation at next. And if he smacks onto us and uh, maybe uh, the family's art is priced, we can maybe do some stuff. Okay, this is going to be Guzma and Hala. He's getting rid of a Welder. Wow, he must be getting uh, special energy. Does he have rainbow? Okay, he has rainbow energy. We are in trouble. He's going to go for Espeon and Deoxys. Okay, this guy already has 80 damage counters on himself. Ooh, yeah, Miss Slash. And uh, this is getting very scary. That weird thing I got rid of a welder that makes me very 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 worried some okay we have tackle well at least we're going somewhere here so what do we need since young Catlin got it as well these cards hustle belt hustle belt out of nowhere can smack a lot of damage we need to have 30 HP or less will he do that ha huh. interesting scenario I am actually gonna get he's gonna get rid of our Pokemon put a Mm -hmm. Okay, 80 HP, that means 210, yeah, put a supporter card, we need to activate our spirit room here, we can get rid of this, we'll see how it goes, and uh, we're gonna get back a Lily, actually Guzman Hala would have been better, oh well, we have Shrine and even this, so this is very, very bizarre, so let's get this giant bomb over here, smacking down the Shrine while we're at it, Getting this rainbow energy. He can, of course, go with the uh, lava flow, but it only works for uh, basic energies. Hopefully, he will not get them. 
alter creation. We'll see. If he knocks us out or not. If the shrine sticks, we get the KO on the Dene and we can maybe KO this guy. We'll see. Okay, immediately overlapped by the uh, giant heart again. Getting fire ranges. He will probably have Welder and uh, have game, but our hand was not going in our favor. Fire energies. Yeah, here goes the welder, and that is gonna be well played, I guess. Is he gonna be able? To, oh, only one energy. Only one energy. He has four energies. He can smack two hundred. Well, he have family's art in the discard pile. What can he do? He can snipe. He can rainbow energy and heal. I wonder. This is still not over yet. Maybe he's waiting for his GX move for some reason. He has so many cards in hand and I don't know what is going on here. The bad thing is that we don't have Guzman Hala. Guzman Hala will, would make things easy to just get a Shrine of Punishment and destroy the Dene. Will our ADP survive? What is he gonna do? We have Hustle Belt. Our uh, Giant Bomb will explode next turn. So Hustle Belt will be activated if we uh, get smacked by a lot of damage. We'll see what he does. Come on. We even have a switch card. Okay, he switches himself to the Dene. Okay, our giant bomb gets annihilated. That is bizarre. That is very bizarre. How many skateboards in this card pile? One. Hmm. Do we smack down Jirachi? He could like use a GX move. Smacking down Jirachi, then switching. We are already one hitting KOing this guy. Do we switch? Or do we just go for Lily? Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the switch here because then we can draw more cards with Lily. I want to save that a hustle belt for a spirit tomb. Okay, this is very crazy, very crazy indeed. So we get an energy over here. That means we can one hit KO. We don't have shrine just yet, but we can target this guy for 180, and that means uh, 180 that this guy is knocked out. 180 plus the 90. Yeah, that's KO. Yeah, get over here, Mew Mew. It's time for you to get punished. We have a communication which we cannot use, but here comes the ultimate ray. Bam! And we're gonna attach energies to Jirachi. Yeah, they already concede because they know that the shrine is coming on that Dene. And uh, yeah, we get two prize cards and four prize cards for this Mew Mew. And that means game. So that was pretty weird. Pretty weird game, but we uh, came out on top again. So uh, we are on a win streak of 10 right now. So uh, all of our work is paying off here on the versus ladder. And... Uh, Let's try it again, ADP Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb did not show any action except for like smacking the Dene, which we could have gotten the one hit KO if we would have gotten that Hustle Belt onto the Spirit Tomb, but I had to like uh, put the escape board onto there so we can draw more cards with Lily. It's only necessary, I guess. And uh, the weird thing is that maybe Family Zard was prized. Of course, the Charizard GX from the Hidden Fate set, dishing out 300 damage probably. If that was not prized, uh, I don't know what was up. <laughs> okay, let's go, game number three. Water Psychic Carless Darkness. Is this going to be Dark Box? Dark Box. If it is Dark Box, will they have healing cards? They might have Super Scoop Ups. They typically have those. Although it could be something else entirely. Alright, we start off with a Jirachi and a Switch Card and a Tackle. What more can you ask for, right? So get this Jirachi up and rolling. Might as well smack down the other two, but uh. Yeah, I might as well smack down the other two. It is safe. I think it is safe. So, what are we up against? Uh, Pidgeotto Control. Oh, no. It was not safe to smack down Spirit Tube. Although Spirit Tube only needs one energy to attack, so it's fine either way. We need to use ADP as quickly as possible, and then we need to target down uh, three Pokemon. We do have Custom Catcher, so it shouldn't be as hard. And we also need to get our, our Zipstrika out before we are getting put in the lock. Can we do that? Alright, Pidgeotto is popping up. He has the first turn Elm. It's nice. Uh, it's better than having a first turn like uh, Jirachi in the X position. Right now, Oranguru, a little bit scary because he can now use research management as early as his first turn. So we uh, immediately have the Blitzel. Fantastic. So tackle, see what is priced, so let's get, we don't need more uh, ADPs, although we do have lots of switch cards. Let's get, yeah, Guzman Hala can get stadium cards, 
Hustle belts are not necessary in this matchup and special energies will uh, be necessary to get ourselves the attack going. Let's get this and Cynthia and Calvin. I think that is fine. Oh yeah, we should have checked if uh, our Zip Striker was in there. Well, we're definitely gonna draw into it immediately. So let's go with Cynthia and Catelyn. Let's get rid of the Shrine of Punishment immediately. We don't need that. Ta -da! Yeah, nothing. Drawing three cards. Look at the hand. Fantastic. Skateboard immediately going there. I'm gonna go for a building spite. And now let's check out the Stellar Wish. Yeah, we have Stamp and we have a Lily. Yeah, Stamp could help out if he just uh, fills his hand with a lot of cards. Lily could also help while we're just playing a lot of cards. Hmm. For now, Lily it is. And I'm just gonna just casually attach one simple energy over here. Next turn we have the option to go for the Altered Creation GX. He's already uh, shaking his boot like, oh no, there's a Blitzel. Should have checked if Zipstrike I was in there, but I trust my luck here. Could be prized, but then again, Spiritomb also has a one retreat cost, so. And we have lots of switching cards. Jirachi's still in the active position. We have not not KO'd anything. Looking good, looking good. We have uh, the option to use Guzman Hala. Could also use Mimikyu here to copy uh, the resource management. That's also a way you can go about this to uh, regain your custom catchers. So after we use like uh, Ultimate Ray, we can get energies onto Mimikyu so we can copy cat the resource management then go from there. So we can put back some switches and stuff. That is an option. The good news is we only need to take three KOs unless he has, of course, a Latios GX and Clear Vision throwing onto us, but I don't think that is the case. Okay, Water Energy going there. He can fly immediately into the active position with Articuno. Are we afraid of that? I don't think so. Spiritomb can take KOs with one energy. Easy. Balaban Bryson Man, okay. He gets rid of some resources, not too anything too special. Metal energy. Okay, research management. And now he has three Pidgeotto set up. We are uh, sure that next turn he's going to go for the Articuno. Okay, Crushing Hammers, Balaban, Bryson Man. Okay, it's cool. So, first things first, let's go for the Guzma and Hala. We only need like one Spirit Tomb, so let's get rid of Spirit Tomb and Lily. Da -da -da. And uh, we're gonna grab some cards. We uh, can grab more retreat options. Get dang that. We already have, yeah, that metal energy that we desperately need. Rainbow energy is also an option, but I'm gonna leave those for uh, spirit tombs. Also get that uh, shrine out of the deck while we're at it. I should have checked if Zipstrike was in there. What am I doing? Oh well. So here comes the Stellar Wish. We have communication. Well, at this point, I'm happy to search for our Zipstrike. Hopefully it is not priced. Get out of here, Mimikyu. Don't need you. Okay, it is hit in here. So luckily for us, that's fantastic. So we have Zipstrike set up. We have ADP ready to rock. We have a switch in hand. Things should be going great. Because Spiritomb can also take KOs. And uh, we don't even need ADP. This Spiritomb only needs one energy to start swinging. We also need a uh, Hustle Belt to do that, but we're definitely gonna be getting that sooner or later. Let's get this skateboard over here. And uh, now this guy has free retreat. We can even go for the uh, sprint, but it's not necessary at this point. The reason for that, we have Lily. We can smack down Shrine to overlap the power plant and we have a switch card. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I forgot to use Alter Creation Jacks. Oh boy. At least his crushing hammer still, but uh, yeah, we should have used Ultra Creation Jacks immediately. Oh wow, that was kind of a misplay, but is uh, easily uh, corrected, I think. How many crushing hammers in this card pile? Only one. Oof. But all of his uh, crushing hammers are on the bottom of the deck, and he already used two air mails. Come on, man. If he now uses Articuno, things are going to be difficult. Hopefully it'll not turn out that way. He needs State and Liza. Uh, yeah, or an attach of the turn. And he doesn't seem to be running a lot of energy. So Jesse and James. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of... Mm, yeah, the Shrine and the Lily because we have Sprint. That is my only uh, reasonable explanation. And if we draw into Guzman Hala, we can find a special energy again because we forgot to use Alternate Ray. Oh, actually, yeah, Alter Creation GX. 
Okay. A chip chip ice axe, that's fine. We are maybe in a lock, but with uh, the sprint, it is fantastic. Come on, use research management and uh, let me uh, rectify my situation. Okay, Articuno. Articuno to the active position. And he's going to get rid of all of our energies. Okay, this is sad. I should have used like the GX move a long time ago. Oh well, things could be worse, right? So we switch here, get an energy over here, use the building spite, go for Zip Striker. Ta da! Okay, we even have Absol. Absol will make it difficult for him to retreat, but Absol also has a retreat cost. Hmm, interesting. So, Lily first. So many cards in the hand right now, so he's not gonna get us in, in a hand lock. Not at all this time around. Stellar Wish. Hustle Belt. Yeah, maybe Custom Catchers. Don't want to get those discarded with Bellaba and Bryson, man. And now we wait it out. So, we can even switch with Mellow and Law, so as long as my Metal Energy there is safe, we should be good. If he discards our Metal Energy, we are gonna get in so much trouble. Only one Crushing Hammer there. If he finds Crushing Hammers, we're gonna get in, in a terrible position here. The good thing is that Crushing Hammers might be on the bottom of his deck, and otherwise it's my own fault for not using Ultra Creation Jacks when I had to just uh, recording the video and just like uh, clicking on done. What was that? Acrobikes. He's going to his deck very quickly, but he did not shuffle just yet. He just used Jesse and James the previous turn. He can also go for the uh, Hapu if he has another one. Here come the air mills with on the uh, on the crushing hammer. Otherwise, things will go very very difficult. We need to KO three things. Articuno is stuck though, so at least that is a small comfort. Okay, Mallow and Lana swapping to the Oranguru. And here comes research magic. Okay, we dodged the bullet right here, even though we were very, very slow. Let's say like he had a crushing hammer on his first turn. Let us just uh, go from that on. Next up, we're gonna use the ultimate ray. I just need to find as many switching cards so we can go with Spirit Tomb to finish the, the deal for us. So, Stellar Wish, getting so many cards in the hand. Hustle Bell, cool. energy over there and now we're gonna go for altered creation gx finally okay could also use some more supporters but i'm gonna leave them in the hand use my hull is an option though to find our rainbow energy maybe that is an option we're gonna leave it up for next time so altered creation gx come on finally made it only to get to ko three things if we KO like Articuno, it doesn't matter in the prize race. The good news is that we only need one energy on the Spirit Tomb, which is fantastic. Two switches in the discard it has got me a little bit worried. But we do have Mallow and Lana and Cynthia and Catelyn. Nah, it's in the discard pile, too bad. Only two switching options left. So crazy. He already uses GX move, so if he doesn't use the GX move, Again, the Crushing Hammer, it is Tails, that is good. How many Crushing Hammers in the discard pile? Only one, Mars. Okay, random cards. <laughs> Kuzma and Hala, oh boy. Oh boy, why Why does that always happen? Have such a large hand and then they discard the one thing you need to like attack with. Research management, I'm actually gonna go for a reset stamp. He only had one Crushing Hammer, right? What is he gonna put back? We have the Mallow and Lana. Both Guzman and Hala are gone, so getting ourselves the Rainbow Energy will be difficult, to say the least. So, first things first. We can attack with the... <laughs> Not really. Cannot attack at all. Ta-da! We have to switch right now with Mallow and Lana. Otherwise, we throw it away. Otherwise, we throw it away. Hustle Belt over here. Can smack down another Jirachi. Not gonna do that. I'm gonna go for Mallow and Lana. 
to switch to the Jirachi. And uh, now we're gonna discard our entire hand. Yes, thank you. We need to find the rainbow energy as quickly as possible. <laughs> okay, we have enough energies to go around. Stellar Wish. Finding a custom catcher that I don't want to get discarded. And we have the ma manual darkness energy over here. That means we smack down 130 damage flat. 130 damage is all that it takes. Let's destroy it. Bam! So we got two prize cards with Spiritomb. And we'll see how we go from there. He can put, him, put us in a handlock. He can target our ADP, which is also ready to attack with one simple energy. We have more custom catchers, so... Very curious to see what he's gonna do. We only have, like, uh, in total, 13 cards left in the deck, 6 cards in the hand. He might stamp us and stuff and use Jesse and James, but will, he be, will we be faster? All of our Pokémon have free retreat in the form of Jirachi, Zipstrika. I think our position is looking very great. Okay, Oranguru pops up. It's fine. What is he gonna do? He's gonna probably like use a couple of these Pidgeotos, draw a lot of cards. He can use uh, yeah, Crushing Hammers. If he uses Misty and Lorelei, he can also go for the GX again of Articuno. That is probably his best bet. But he still has 25 cards left in the deck, so I wonder what he is going to be able to do. Also, one water energy in the discard. Okay, it distills again, so Crushing Hammer is not working out for him. Not working out for him as well. Ooh, Mars, don't get an energy, don't get an energy. Okay, Spirit Tomb, that's fine. Spirit Tomb is fine. Okay, need to KO two more Pokemon. Come on, we research management and let's get it done. Power Plant, that means Articuno can no longer use its ability. Chip Chip Ice Axe. Yeah, with Zipstrika out, getting uh, the control archetype uh, knocked out is very, very easy. We should have already won by this point, but I uh, yeah, messed it up big time. What is he going to get back? So we're going to go with Spiritomb again. Yeah, he's getting all the crushing hammers. That's fine. So what we need to do is uh, just do nothing. Just KO it and uh, leave it as it is. We only need one energy on all of these guys. Might as well put an energy over here, but will he have custom catchers to get us uh, ADP stuck? We still have one switch left in the deck, right? That's fine. His energy is useless either way, so let's go with Anguish Cry. Yeah, this is easier than it looks. Custom catchers, okay, cool. Now comes the big bad Articuno. If he has custom catchers, he can uh, select ADP, then he can uh, use Misty and Lorelei, use Cold Crush again, get rid of our energies. The only thing we need to find is our last switch card. Yeah. Or a skateboard. Nah, both skateboards are in play. Just dig for the switch if it's in there. If it's in there, we should be good. He could also go for Bellabell and Bryson Man. Yeah, three Pidgeotos. Lieutenant Search, he can now use two supporters. Will we have it? Okay, Mars? No energy, no energy. <laughs> he gets the energy! Oh boy! Of course he gets the energy. Tails. Lucky for us, that is still. So we still have more rainbow energies. That's also the reason why we're not overusing Building Spite. Otherwise, you cannot attach up the turn again. We only need one more. Okay, he gets the Faba onto the ADP. And he can see, so that is how it's done. ADP with Spirit Tomb. Even though I misplayed and I like, clicked on done, we still managed to uh, overcome uh, the control variant with Zipstriker. Let me know what you think about this list in the, the comment section below. Do you like this list? Enjoy it. If you enjoy it, be sure to mash the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.